How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics. One thing I'm going to mention in this video, I have recently purchased the domain name codingbasics.ca. I'll be putting up written tutorials there, as well as some of the sample code I use in uh, my tutorials. Also be a forum, stuff like that, so check it out please, I'd really appreciate it. Now, I lied in the last video of this series when I said um, we'd start programming some lambda, lambda expressions in this video. Well, instead we're going over what lambda expressions are. So, welcome to tutorial number two in my uh, lambda expressions in Java 8 series. And I'm going to go over what a lambda expression is because, like I said in the last video, I assume you know Java for this tutorial series, but I'm not assuming you know what a lambda expression is. So. What are lambda expressions? They're also known as anonymous functions because really they are functions but with no identifier. So there are three parts to a lambda expression. There is the parameters. I spelled that wrong. Parameters, which is brackets with the list of parameters in them separated by a comma. close bracket so that's your list of parameters and you don't have to say uh, you know integer or double assuming you know what uh, enough about Java you would realize or you would know that um when defining a variable inside a function or just creating a new variable anywhere in your uh, program you have to define what type of data is being stored to that identifier well, not here. You just say you just give the name of the parameters. I'm just using param one and param two, just as random examples, and separate them with a comma. Next, you have an arrow token, and all the arrow token is is a dash and a greater than sign. That is all an arrow token is no space between them. And then the final thing is the body, which is the actual expression part of it. So, for an example here, I'm going to make a random lambda expression. So, for the parameters, it's going to be x and y. There's your arrow token. And the actual thing it's going to do is add x and y together. That is an example lambda expression. And now um, in Java, you use them inside of um, certain functions, such as there's a filter function, there's a map function, there's map to int, map to double, lot of um, different functions where you put a lambda expression in. So, for example, if I'm using the filter one, I would want to filter out any x where x is equal to 2, for example. So that's how the filter one would work. You put a lambda expression in here. And um, that's, that's the filter's criteria. Now, you, instead of using lambda expressions, we can use something called predicates. So I'll get to that in a later video, but basically you create a predicate, and then um, instead of putting this inside the filter, we could put in whatever the name of the predicate is in here. So that is what lambda expressions are. If you want to read up more on them, So, Lambda Expressions, Java 8, here's a recent search of mine, in here, they go into much more detail about Lambda Expressions, um, some more examples, stuff like that, but uh, really, Lambda Expressions, they just add more functionality to your code, they make it much more concise, as you'll see in uh, later tutorials. And one thing I'm going to get into later is their performance. Right now, I am an intern at the university I go to with one of the professors, and 
the research project I'm working on with him on is uh, the performance of Lambda expressions in Java 8. And I made the website form that ran all the comparisons and tests and I'm helping write the report for it so uh, I know firsthand really what the results are so there are some cases where lambda expressions are faster but I'm finding a lot of times the lambda expressions in Java 8 are much slower but we will go over that in a later tutorial but for now that is all I want to talk about so thank you guys for watching this video Remember to comment, like the video, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.